Are you ready? Can we have a drum roll? But don't you uh, don't you hit that table? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ready for this? Ready for this? Ready for this? <sighs> what? How did you do that? Well, greetings and salutations. Can you say that? Greetings and salutations. Here we are at Faraday Studios, and I needed some help today. So I've got the the three uh, Curly, Larry, and Mo. Is that your name? Yes. Cur Curly, Larry, and Mo. There's a center of gravity activity that Faraday did in, I think it was 1827. So what do you think this is about center of gravity? What You guys got an idea what you think it, that might mean? Center of gravity. I just want you guys to lay the meter stick on two fingers anywhere, just pick it up with, on two fingers. Can you hold it there still and it won't move? It's staying stable because its center of gravity is supported. This glass right now is staying right there because its center of gravity is being supported by something. So what's supporting that yardstick right now? My fingers. Your fingers. fingers. Now, if I wanted you to find the center of gravity of that yardstick, how would you do it? Well, since we already know it's the center of something, there's 36 yeah. inches 36 on it. 36 inches. And 36 divided by two is 18. Yeah. So what so if I just put my finger, finger on the so, 18 So you can mark. balance that right there. Put your finger under 18 inches, huh? So that's 36. Is that pretty much the balance point? Pretty much. I mean, there's... Pretty, yeah, it wobbles a little bit. Not exactly. That's cool. Now, if I just slide this over a little bit, I moved it down to 20. I let go, what's gonna happen? It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall because? Because there's more weight on one side than on the other. Oh yeah. And if I would, uh, now get it back on 18 again. What if I just clip this uh, clothespin on there? What? Uh-oh. Because there's no mass. Has weight. So weight. what happened to the center of gravity? It, it changed. changed. What's the center of gravity now of this thing? Kind of, what's the point? Try to balance that. So where's the center of gravity now? About 19. About yeah. 19? Just by me adding this weight, I move the center of gravity of this object, right? Mm -hmm. Are you with me so far? Are you with me so far? Yeah. Center of gravity is a balance point and it can move. So remember this, center of gravity is what we call balance point. Mm -hmm. If something changes about the object, so you can actually move the center of gravity of an object. That's two things I just learned about center of gravity. And sometimes you can move the center of gravity to the oddest place. You can put it all the way down at the very end, pretty close to it, or you can even take it off the edge of this thing. Would it be possible to have the center of gravity not even in there? You have to picture that in your head. Would that be possible to have a center of gravity, a balance, not even at the center of the thing? Or what the heck? And how that just mess with yeah, my head? Yeah, because if you put like a five pound weight on this end, Yeah. It would have to be even further than that. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to show you what Faraday did, and, and scientists have done forever. A center of gravity trick you can do at home. And instead of using the yardstick, we're just going to use a fork and a spoon. And you, boy, how do you better ask your mom, if you, dad, if you can use, because, oh, look at this fork. What happened to it? Somebody bit it. Yeah, somebody, I oh got somebody's going to get in trouble. So make sure you use your mom's best silverware when you do this. She'll probably find your center uh -huh. of gravity. Uh -huh. Yeah, huh? And I'm just going to stick the spoon down in the, what do you call these things on the? Tines. 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 Yeah, really? Is that what they call them? Tines? Yep. So this has a center of gravity, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Where do you think it might be with this object? Where they know. intersect? Yeah, so, so somewhere around the right around there. So you can kind of balance that right there. You could probably say, you say, well, if it's staying there, so the center of gravity's in that particular area, isn't it? Now you gotta be, I use matchsticks, so I had to call my mama. You know, she's 104 years old. I had to call her, mom, can I use matches? I wanna stick a matchstick right up between the top two, what are these things called? Tines. Tines. And then you're gonna light it? No. You want to light that match, don't you? Yeah. You just yeah. want to light, I don't care what it is, I'm going to light that match. So you see how I've got the match in there? Mm-hmm. Now, I added mass, didn't I? Mm-hmm. So now the center of gravity will So the center of gravity has moved somehow. And I can move this matchstick back and forth to adjust the weight distribution. I'm almost got it. Look, at, look I got it balanced on. You see that? I got that balanced on my finger. And everybody will be amazed. But you know, here at Faraday Studio, Home of Midnight Science Club and the Wizards, we go beyond just the normal, right? Mm -hmm. We go Everybody to, yeah. can do that. Anybody can do this, but we go to the weird extreme. abnormal. No, the so extreme. we're gonna light it on fire. I'm gonna try to balance this. On the glass? On the glass, because there is a point. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now don't you Whoa. shake that table. So where is the center of gravity of this system? Right on the matchstick. Right in the middle of the matchstick. Right there. That doesn't look right, does it? No. What should that be doing? It should be falling off. It should be falling off. Because all that weight, of all that, uh, that's a lot of weight. Look here, this is pretty heavy, right?
could see your mom's over there watching. She said, don't let them have matches. Do not let them have matches. She knows. Fun. Now there's a there's a little side bit of science going on here. That match, that wood's going to burn down. And then it'll fall. Why is that? There's, there's less weight. Oh, you can match. see it. You can see it. Watch. Yeah, you can it's see it. It's leaning. Fall. What I'm trying to do is to get that everything burnt off of that thing. Are you ready? Could we have a drum roll? But don't you uh, don't you hit that table. Go ahead. Ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? <sighs> what? How did you do that? You're looking at it, aren't you? It's just on the edge of the glass, the very edge of the glass. Now, what's amazing is that we said something will stand still if it's what is supported. It's center of gravity. Yeah, center of gravity. The center of gravity. And that is the oh. that, that spot. But it doesn't make any sense about how that can be the center of gravity. Because then, okay. but then what, what it can change, change there's, less, there's now less mass. I want to take this card and I'm just going to hold it over this, I'm not going to touch anything. This is just for observation. And if just imagine how much weight is on this side of the card. The same as the other side. You're darn right. See all these handles sticking way back over here? And look, and then you look on the other side of the card, you'll see that there's, look at that. It still looks like there's more weight on that side. Yes, yeah, it does. Well, it's just crazy. Isn't that crazy? See how far we can pass this thing around. I'm going to pick it up because the center of gravity is supported, right? That so here it goes. Cool. It's going from the wizard to Elliot, and every, the camera's on Elliot. The whole world is watching. Can he pick up the glass? Oh! He got it! Pass, 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 he's, pass gonna, it. Uh, he's gonna pass it it's to hot Beckett. It's potato, Elliot. Okay, I'll, I'll scoot back. Oh, he's gonna reach, and you can reach right in front of the wizard now. Thank He goes, sing. I'm passing it to you. Oh, no, you put it down the table. That'll be the hard part. <laughs> You're blowing.